Hello YouTube and welcome to my uh, my former lounge. Uh, I know that I recently said that I was going to call this room my lounge, but I've uh, decided to change the name. I'm now going to call it uh, my office, and. Uh, the reason for that is these photos of my wife and sons uh, I wanted to have them out here and uh, that sort of uh, changed the atmosphere in here. Whatever lounge feeling there was, uh, disappeared uh, and uh, after giving it some thought I decided I'd call it my uh, office instead. Uh, and the uh, office has a much uh, nicer sound to it uh, when I tell my wife that I'm going for a smoke it sounds much better to say that I'm going to the office compared to saying that I'm going to my lounge so it's the office from now on I'm uh, smoking Penzance today. I haven't smoked it in a long time. I smoked it last summer. It's over a year ago. And it didn't impress me much. But to be honest, uh, no Englishes impressed me then. Uh, I found them to be too too, uh, too dry, uh, and uh, the smoke. I didn't really care for the smokiness in the Latakia or from the Latakia. But. Uh, this summer I got some uh, gaslight sent to me uh, by Pipe and Trout and that changed my uh, opinion or it made me realize that I might like like Englishes after all uh, and I've been smoking gaslight with the uh, great pleasure and uh, then the Berg sent me some Penzance and he also sent me another English also an Esoterica I can't remember the name now but he, he sent me two generous samples so thought I'd give uh, Penzance a new chance and I've smoked a couple of bowls and uh, it's a lot nicer than I remembered it. It's to, to me now, I don't, uh, it doesn't taste dry or, or one dimensional it's uh, quite sweet and uh, rich and I'm not bothered at all by the 
Latakia. I actually like it. So I don't know if something happened to to the tobacco or if my tobacco preferences preferences has changed. I'm talking a bit quieter now because someone just pulled up at the front yard. I know who it is and she's only here to check her horse. So once she's in the stable I can talk normal again. So I'm really grateful for, for um, we're grateful to Berg for giving me a second chance or an, a, another go at uh, Penzance and Englishes. I've got uh, some old, not old, old Dublin, but some old Dublin as well that, that I'm going to give a, a second try. Because if I change my mind regarding Penzance, I might very well have uh, changed it, changed it regarding Old Dublin. Uh, yeah, the pipe. I'm smoking it in uh, an homemade pipe, of course, and I used I think you call it a knot on the branch for the bowl. turned out quite well or quite good something has happened to my subs uh, the last week I think someone must have given me a shout out because I have uh, gotten a lot of new subscribers uh, and it's not because I've been active and watching a lot of videos and subbing people because I, I, I've uh, I've not done that. On the contrary, I've, I've been very inactive when it comes to watching videos. But I'm hoping to uh, catch up. Uh, I've, I've begun, uh, I've, I'm using my son's uh, tablet when I'm making food, making dinner and I'm having the tab the tablet is standing just by the stove and I'm watching videos as I cook in an attempt to catch up so whoever made a shout out I'm really grateful for it I'm sorry that I haven't uh, seen it but hopefully I, I, I'll uh, get to it. My uh, 10 year old, well he is turning 11 in uh, about a month. He's a big fan of documentaries. And uh, Sunday, yeah. Sunday he was uh, watching a documentary about a region in China with, with uh, it's at the foot of the Himalayas and there are really steep valleys uh, with rivers going in a north southerly direction uh, and uh, the monsoon blows in uh, with a lot of moisture and uh, quite high temperatures so they've got a rainforest uh, at a high altitude and uh, it it was I watched part of it and it, it was really interesting but what caught my attention was how they crossed the rivers at the bottom of the valleys
because they were gliding on uh, wires or ropes. They had uh, put up ropes going across the, the uh, valley over the river. And they hooked up on the rope and just slided down it, down the rope. And uh, they sent both people and animals that way. And I'll add, add a short uh, clip uh, or a link down below uh, so you can watch it yourself. But when I was watching, I suddenly saw this old woman coming sliding along the rope, smoking a pipe. Uh, to me, going over a river like that would have been uh, probably the scariest thing I've done. But, but she was really <laughs> relaxed about it and having a pipe. And you could actually see her blowing smoke out of her mouth while going down. And uh, very impressive. And I think it's, uh, well, it wasn't a boat pipe. She she probably made it herself. It, it looked uh, it looked that way in a way. So both the pipe and uh, the old lady made a big impression on me. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll uh, stop here. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, I hope to see you soon again. Bye.